What's up, guys, and welcome to New Tarot. I am the energy and intuitive, <clears throat> excuse me, reader. What's going on? Hmm. Are you guys not speaking up about something? Hmm. Or something you know you should be saying and you're not saying it? I don't know who, whose, whose charm is this we're going to pick, but because that happened, some of you guys aren't saying something that you know you need to say. Anyway, before we start, um, I do want to say that I have my social medias in the description box. I post on Snapchat and Instagram. Snapchat, I post twice a week. I pull for all Zodiac signs, quick, short videos. Because you guys want to go check that out, you can. On Instagram, I post on my story, spiritual memes, and I give advice and stuff like that. In case you guys um, want to go check that out, you can. All right, so let's see who's not saying nothing. Let's see. Look at me up. I'm not going to hit you. Anyway, let's see. Gemini. What's up, Gemini? You got a you got a frog in your throat, Gemini? Hmm. Um Gemini, this message can resonate with you if you have Gemini as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. Uh thank you so much for being here, Gemini. Um I want to pull my divine guidance. I don't know why, but I'm going to do it. I feel like this is going to be about love. These cards aren't all about love. They could be transferred into both ways. Like, you know, they could be looked at into both ways. But I don't know. Anyway, let's see. Gemini. Let's see what is going on with thy fellow 2020. I'm not a Gemini, but I just wanted to say it like that. So I did. I'm an Aries, though. <laughs> okay. So, bottom of the deck, you have Divine Counterpart. With passions and expansion. And be open to change at the bottom. I want to call you Cancers. You guys could be doing with a Cancer or have that in your chart. Um... Which you don't see coming, Gemini. I think there's going to be a very big opportunity coming for you, boo-boo. And this is going to require you to get out of your comfort zone. Um, in whatever way that is for you. Whether that's moving, a new job, whatever. Okay, trying something different. It's going to be a change, okay? Um, but I feel like the universe sent this to you. Your angels, your God, whoever you believed in. You asked and you shall receive. That's what I'm getting right now. So I feel like a lot of you guys ask for this. And then when it comes, it's like there might be a slight inconvenience, right? Like whether it's you have to drive real far for this new job or, you know, the place that you want is in uh, kind of far from where you work. Or again, like just it might be a minor inconvenience that's not that serious. Over, don't. Do not take this up. Do not not take this opportunity because of, of a minor inconvenience. Because this was sent to you from your angel. It is yours, so take it. And also, do not not take it because you don't want to change something, or you know whatever change has to happen in order for you to get this. You don't want to do it. So stop it. And don't also don't not not take it because you don't feel like you'll do good because this was sent from your angels, meaning it was made perfectly and amazingly just for you, Jim. So stop playing. Stop playing around. <laughs> I was about to say stop playing yourself. The first card you have is stress. OK, so we stressing out about something here. We're going to see we have balance here. Clearly, something is unbalanced. We're going to see. I mean, with the stress card, clearly, you have happiness. Oh, Jen. I feel like the, so, there's still, like, I feel like something new is coming is what I'm getting. Which is happiness card. We're going to see. Some of you guys, you are, you, are, you already have it. You have um, realignment here. So you got to change your perspective on something. You got a nice, a nice little blend of stuff here. Nice little blend of energies here, Gemini. There's something stressful that's happening. I feel like this happiness is coming to you, but for some of you, it might be already be there. And I also feel like there's something that you have to change your mind, like change your perspective. Whatever. It could be what I said is coming to you, right? Whatever this opportunity is. 
that the universe is bringing to you, to your doorstep. Like, here you go, Gemini. Happy belated birthday. <laughs> Happy early birthday, too, for next year or whatever. Whatever. What is this? Six of Wands. Look at this. If you guys are resonated with what I just said, you're going to be successful. You're going to be victorious. Some of you guys could be become famous. I just, not all of y'all, obviously, but this is good. Like, you're going to, it's going to be fine. Stop um doubting yourself and stop talking negativity into your plans, Gemini. All right? All right. Thank you very much. Okay, spirit. What's going on? Stress. Why is stress here for Gemini? You have the Emperor with the King of Pentacles. Nine of Cups in reverse. The Sun with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So what? So what? You gotta do what the you gotta do, Gemini. I feel like you have an energy here. It could be an earth sign, but it doesn't have to be. There's someone here who is kind of depending on you right now. Okay. Um, this person could be... I feel like they were in a situation where they thought they wanted something or they thought like if something was their like ultimate happiness and they realized it's not. Okay. Uh, so, you know, I feel like you, you have to take control of the situation and help this person out. This could go, this could be vice versa, but I just literally got that. <laughs> okay. And, um, I feel like you're trying to take control. I feel like you're the one you, with the, we're the one with the pentacles. You're the one with, you know, I think you have to take control of the situation here and help this person out financially in some way. Or materialistically take it how it resonates but they're saying like they're saying that you're stressing yourself out about this situation but you don't have to put this energy first like whatever this energy is this energy depends on you so now i get i get that's like well you see how much pressure that is like okay i get it but the the way they're putting it is like this this energy could wait you know like this, it should, this should not be the first thing that you think about because this energy is not dying. This energy is, you have the sun card here. <clears throat> so they're pretty fulfilled. Whatever it is that, that they're, that you're helping this energy with or that you're supporting this energy. It's like, you're the one in charge with the emperor. You're the one that calls the shots. So why are you stressing? You're giving this energy way too much power. You're the one that has all the power right now. You're the king of pentacles. You got all the materials in your book bag. And you're in charge of the path that it, that is, you know what I'm saying? So if you stop, this energy is going to stop. If you go, this energy is going to go. So kind of look at it like that, okay? Because like, it's, it's like you, you, you wake up and you go to sleep with the stress from, from another energy here. And I don't know. Seven of Cups in reverse. But you're about to see that. You're about to see that you that you're kind of like... I feel like you feel like there's more problems than there really is. You're creating them for yourself, but you're gonna you're gonna get yourself out of that. All right. Um, five of Cups. A lot of you guys. Oh, you feel guilty. You don't have to. You don't have to feel guilty. With the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, that means that this person came to you. This person needed you. What are you? What are you feeling guilty about? Obviously, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of things that I don't know about the situation, but you have to understand that you can only do so much, right? And this energy needs to understand that this energy needs, to, the energy can see that you are the only person that can help this person. They're depending on you to help them. So I'm pretty sure they, you know, I feel like we put a lot of pressure on ourselves and we help others to be perfect, to be everything. Like, yes, but we have to realize that we're helping Right? We can only give so much. And it's not like you're not going to help them at all. It's not like you're not going to get done what has to get done. You're just going to get it done at your own time. Because you got other things to, to worry about, right? The King of Pentacles, yeah, he has all of these nice things and all of these pentacles around him. But no one really thinks about how he got here, right? He has to maintain that as well. So, 
yeah don't worry about it uh what is balance you have the knight of wands with the uh nine of swords mm. you're really stressed out you can't sleep You feel like things could be happening too slowly. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Four of Cups with the Moon. But you don't see that these fears that you're having are actually going to make things um, hard. I feel, like, I feel like you didn't see this coming. Whatever this was, you didn't see this coming. It could have um, caused some family problems or some money issues here. Okay, and you and you didn't think that it was going to turn out like this. You didn't. <sighs> Three of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune. Gemini, there's a way for you to nurture this with not giving your all to it. Because they have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the Three of Pentacles. And I'm like, what contradiction, right? Three of Pentacles upright is teamwork, collaboration. Queen of Pentacles in reverse is not nurturing something, not taking care of something. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune here, which lets me know it's faded, right? For you to not nurture something, but still work together with someone. So there's a way where you can lessen your burden, okay? There is a way. You might not want to do it, but there is a way. Because that's the only way you're going to find balance is in this situation. It is what it is. You're you're helping someone else out or they're helping you out, vice versa, whatever. Take it how it resonates, but I'm doing this like you. You're helping someone else out. They're going to have to understand because now it's now it's stressing you out. And now it now it's a problem. Okay? It's, if it starts affecting you, it's now a problem. Especially with your, you know, like, your personal stuff. Yeah. Happiness. Happiness. You have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So, there's something here that didn't work out for you guys. Eight of Swords, King of Pentacles, and the Hermit in reverse. This could have been a new opportunity, a financial opportunity for you that you guys worked really hard and you might have got word like, oh, this is coming or, oh, this is going to happen. And you might not get that. I just feel like I ruined a whole bunch of hearts and dreams because some of you guys are still waiting on word for this. Um, And what I'm going to tell you, Gemini, is that when you go for this and you don't get this, do not. I mean, you're going to do it. I see it. But I'm trying to for those who haven't, who haven't gotten through there, you guys could change your perspective and your actions on everything um which is why it's good that we that which is why i hope is why you watch tarot <laughs> so you could um you know like see what's gonna happen and like understand something and maybe um treat it and see it from a different perspective and get a better outcome right um when you don't get this it don't because i see you being stressed here and really trapping yourself in your head because whatever this is this could have brought in a lot of material financial abundance for you but you're not going to get this because the hermit in reverse you're not going at it for the right reasons okay um meaning you're not really going to be happy you know um with whatever this is so it's not a missed opportunity because i feel like the universe is going to give you something else Okay, and that's not the route you got to take. That's only going to resonate with some of you. But like I said, happiness doesn't come from materialistic things either, Gemini. Happiness comes from within ourselves. So until you learn that, I don't feel like um, it's going to happen for you yet. Okay, you have to love yourself first. And this this is a great way to show the universe, right? How much you love yourself by, by putting a little... Not, you know, not a whole break, you know, red light, but like yield, a freaking yield sign or a slow down or a speed bump, right? Take a, take a break a little bit from whatever the situation is. Realignment. 
You have the three of swords. What is this? What is this? King of Cups in reverse, the two of wands in reverse with the Queen of Pentacles. With the King of Swords. Uh, Gemini. Gemini, don't shoot the messenger. Okay. Uh huh. This really hurts you, man. There's um, there's something that happened. I feel like the person who you're trying to help. You know what, Gemini? You just made me want to. Um, oh my gosh, Gemini, stop it! I'm like feeling how you were feeling when this happened, or how you're gonna feel, and it's really like let down ish energy. Like it's very like hmm. You know, like it's disappointing. There you go. But what I wanted to say was I made a, um, I made a collective reading video the other day. Um, and I've been trying to get into that. I, it's just hard because I like the personal readings, right? Um, but I've been, it's been on my mind. So I was like, whatever, I'm going to record a video. And I didn't know when I was going to post it. But because I just thought about this right now and this is happening with you, I feel like it's a sign that I should post it today. 44 on the timer. That's my angel number. So yeah, I'm about to post it. Anyway, um, I'm going to tell you what's, what it's going to be called so you guys can go and watch it when I upload it. Um, it's called You Were Only Trying to Help. Like, just think about it. Like, I, I want to cry now. <laughs> it's just, I feel like that's, there's going to be a lot of messages in that video for you because it kind of has to do with this. But anyway, so I feel like some, what hurts your heart is somebody came at you mad, like, so crazy. Like, disrespectful, okay? Because something didn't work out for them, okay? And you, you're taking, you're nurturing this energy. Like, you're taking care of this energy, and they're like all upset because something didn't work out on them and they're and they're throwing it on you. And it's like somebody had to put their foot down. That really hurts you. But they're saying change your perspective on that. Again, don't shoot the messenger, right? This is why. They're saying that there's stress and balance here because you have to remember that you allow this energy to do this. You allow this energy to come at you the way that they did because all the times you opened the door. I remember I told you guys, right? I remember I was like, um, in one of the videos I did for you guys, I was like, do not help this person again. And I see you guys did anyway. And now look where you at. So... There's there has to be an accountability here, Gemini. Like, stop opening the door for this person. You can give. I I um I saw a video the the other day that it was like a drown. If you try to help someone that's drowning, that you're just gonna they're just gonna drown you, right? Because someone who is about to die and can't and swallowing water, they're very in panic. And if you try to save them, ninety five percent chance you could go down with them. But you can help them, right? How? Throw them a rope, right? Throw them a, a, a lifesaver. Throw them a little floaty, right? You need to throw this person a floaty and stop calling the lifeguard to come and save this person every time something they get in the water knowing they can't swim. You feel me? It's time for this person to land on their face and realize that Gemini is not going to be here to save me all the time. Okay, because this person coming at you crazy with frustration or whatever, you didn't deserve that. Absolutely not. But at the same time, you allowed it with all the times that you opened the door for this person. This person now expects things like this. This person now knows that you're going to do everything. And they could be putting you under a lot of pressure. But like I said, you're the king of pentacles in this situation. You have the upper hand. So put your foot down. And stop playing around. I love you guys. All right. I just feel like some of you guys need a little push. And I'm here for that.
All right, Gemini, that's all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.